This four bedroom, two bathroom home is ideally suited for lots with a 15 metre width or more. The home has 227 square metres of living, which includes 15 square metres of alfresco. The elevation of this home is stunning and really reflects the coastal theme. To create this, we use a mixture of light colours, cladding and render. One of the main features are the columnless sliding stacking doors between the living and our fresco. What this really does for the home is seamlessly bring the outside in, which is perfect for entertaining friends and family. The rear living in this home demonstrates how you can create a really fun space without blowing the budget. For example, in the activity room, we've chosen some really inexpensive pieces and paired them with some reclaimed items, such as the pallet seating, which I had designed and got a local manufacturer to make. In the minor bedrooms, we've actually created a DIY wall feature. And this is a great alternative to traditional wallpapers or paint finishes because not only is it really cost effective, but it's also super easy to do. What I love about the home you can wake up on the weekends, open the floor to ceiling stacking doors, which brings a really great connection with the outdoor space. Your typical larder in a home is usually quite a dull space. So what we've tried to incorporate is a bit more personality, and we've done that by using the same wallpaper that we use in the home office. This way, you've created an interesting space with a bit of personality that you don't want to close the door on. The focal point in the Santa Monica living area is actually a stunning piece by a Bondi photographer, Aquabumps. What's fantastic about this piece is that it's got some really great aquatones and sandy beiges, which has enabled us to pull these colours through the rest of the house and really helps to translate that coastal theme. When you put together the street appeal, the indoor-outdoor connection and the family features, this really is the perfect home.